Hey everyone, it's Brian here with the Simmons team. Uh, just wanted to bring a special guest in today uh, to help talk about, once we get a home under contract, some things and pitfalls to avoid to pre prevent the closing from happening on time. So we have our special preferred lender with us today, Evan from Family Mortgage. He's gonna go through some of the key bullet points to address uh, again, once we get a home under contract, before you're getting ready to close in that window of time, make sure to avoid some of these things and pay attention to. So, Evan, the, the stage is yours. Thanks, Brian. Hey, everyone. So this is actually a really great topic because um, you guys go out and look for a home. You get pre-approved. Um, our clients fall in love with a home, and then they go to contract, and there are just some few key points that everyone wants to keep in mind. Uh, because we want to find our home and close on the home and get into the home at the end of the day. So just hitting on a few quick topics. The first one is credit. So we pull a credit um, up front for our pre-approval. And then uh, throughout the, the, the transaction, uh, we may have to look back at the credit. So you don't want to go out and buy like your 62-foot yacht uh, and get a loan for that throughout the process, right? Um, you want to keep your credit as you normally would use. Um, up until applying the loan, and you don't want to make any big purchases. If there is something you need to do, it doesn't always um, hurt you, but you just want to check with your lender. Give them a shout and say, hey, I want to go out and buy the furniture. Um, is that going to affect me getting the loan? So just always stay in touch with the with the lender. Um, the second big thing, believe it or not, if we you have a job when you, we do a, your pre-approval, you have to have that job when it comes closing time, right? Who so, knew? Yeah, right? It makes <laughs> sense. Uh, so we have to verify uh, employment within 10 days of closing on every single client, every type of loan product. So you don't want to uh, all of a sudden say, hey, I, I want to move on to a better job and close at the end of the month, but my new job doesn't start till next month and I quit. Uh, now, even though you have that job lined up, that's going to put a, uh, you know, Stop Delay you from the closing. process. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So again, stay in touch with your lender as you go through the process. Um, assets or your bank account. Another big uh, point to think about is you don't want to put actual cash into your bank account. We can't verify where cash, actual greenback money, came from. So if you have a bunch of money under the mattress, don't throw it in right before closing. Talk to your lender and figure out solutions of um, how to verify your assets. A uh, few people know when they begin the process or throughout the process that we have to have a closing disclosure signed four days prior to you signing and buying your home on the closing date. So the closing disclosure, are all the final numbers, every lender in the country has to have this to you four days prior to closing. So when you're working with your lender, ask them, hey, are we on track to have my closing disclosure signed? Um, because that will make sure that you close on time. If you are selling a home before closing on the new one, you want to make sure your lender gets your sale of home closing disclosure. If you have it a couple days before closing or even the day of closing, make sure to take it upon yourself to get it to your lender because that will um, enable the lender to, when you buy your home to fund and give you the keys on time. And then lastly, the biggest thing um, that's going on in the industry is wire fraud. So you just want to make sure don't wire money without first verbally confirming the wire instructions with whoever told you to wire the money. So usually up front, with Brian may ask you to wire the money for the earnest money deposit, and then at the very end, the title company will want you to wire money. Um, those are the two main points, and regardless of who it is, or if you get an email from Brian, uh, call Brian and make sure that um, you verbally verify wire instructions. So those are a few key points that uh, we've learned from experience, and. Yeah, all, it helps. all great advice. I mean, again, I think at the end of the day, the, the point being is verify everything verbally. And if you always have any questions, pick up the phone, talk to your lender, talk to your agent to make sure before you do anything to potentially compromise a, a major purchase of getting your home on time, you, you want to just pick up the phone and, and ask the appropriate questions. So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys. And we wish you guys the best of luck. And please remember... Count on the Simmons team and also count on Evan from Family Mortgage to help you with your real estate needs. Thanks, guys. Have a guys. wonderful day.